You please start using your bed as a trampoline, mate. Well, this isn't quite the happy home I was expecting. I want to fill your in a shit. What exactly did Vanessa say yesterday? Barely anything. She couldn't get away quick enough, could she? She must have given a reason for not coming back. Oh, she did, yeah. Some flannel about her mum needing her still. Which is clearly an excuse because she said she was feeling better. And have you spoken to her since? No, but I've tried. Twice last night, went straight to voicemail. Once this morning, got the landline, got her ever so sick mother sounding positively perky, saying she'd gone for a walk. I mean, come on, as if! Why as if? That's pretty normal. She doesn't want me anymore, Trace, OK? I know it! <sighs> That's just crazy talk. Well, I'll tell you what is crazy. Yesterday should have been this really happy day for all of us where she came home. I mean, I just adopted her kid! And how amazing is that? Yes, it is amazing, Trace, but we should be doing it all together as a family. And now she won't even take my calls. Well, what if her mum really does need her? I need her! Trace, me and the kids! OK, calm down. The veins in your neck are about to burst. Yeah, because nothing makes sense. Apart from... And you know what? The more I actually think about it, the more I know it's true. In fact, I'm sure it is. Charity, she loves you. How can she? She doesn't take my calls. She doesn't come home. It's over for her. I know it is. What makes you think she's changed her mind? I don't know. Maybe having cancer. Maybe it's had an effect. Eh? Well, you hear about these things, don't you? It makes you rethink your whole life. I mean, you, you see it in the magazines. I got cancer, ran off with the bin man. Oh, have you seen our bin man? Oh, thank you for taking me seriously, Trace. OK, wait, so... What is it that you're actually saying? You think, what, she's met someone else? Oh, it's not impossible, is it? Oh, I don't believe this. Well, I do! Cos feelings change, Trace, don't they? They change. Look at you and David. Look at just about everyone. Whoever makes it last forever. No one. You want us to think she's having an affair? Yeah. No. I don't know. Who knows? But when would she have had the time? I mean, she's been looking after her mum, not to mention having a treatment. She doesn't even go out. She goes to that cancer support group, though, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. With a load of other women who are knackered and, quite frankly, terrified. I mean, copping off will be the last thing on her mind. Could still happen, though, couldn't it? There'll be women there who'll listen to her. Who'll know exactly what she's going through. There'll be all sorts of bonding going on. I am lost for words, and I don't say that often. Tracy, honestly, something is not right. If you seriously think she could do that to you, then you don't deserve her at all. Great, well, thanks for the understanding. Oh, hang on. Don't storm out. Where are you going? Mind your own business. All right. And I mind you, kid, for you while I'm at it, shall I?